Good morning. Good morning. Well, here we are in somewhere very different from the start. Where are we? We're in the bow. And there's a good reason for that. It's because there's a glaring sun. <laughs> yeah, anywhere we try to film at the back where we normally are, you just get this glaring sun. And anyway, it's quite nice here. But our little flowers and it's just a pleasant place to be. So today we're heading, carrying out the Grand Union. Our first stop is not far at all. It's the, what's it called? The Heart of the Shires. Heart of the Shires Shopping Centre on the A5. And it's not like the greatest place to go, but whenever we travel to the Midlands, which we do a lot, a lot of our friends are there, and um, we always stop there on the way up. Because? because. Well, because you like the shops. Uh, because? I always need the loo after about an hour. Yes, it, we call it our official loo stop. <laughs> yes, it should go to the toilet break. Toilet break with some nice shops. Anyway, enough of personal things. Um, so we're off to the Shires then. We're, we're sort of heading to Braunston Way. But we're going to have a little detour because I've always wanted to do the Watford Locks. So and guess what? what? Yeah, the Watford Locks, which uh, we're fancying out, go up to Crick. The reason is um, we want to meet Victoria again. I know we keep seeing her, but... Um, She's off to Devon for a month or something, three weeks. I don't know, a long time. But we won't be able to see her again after sort of this first day. And Friday. we want to say goodbye to Taz. Uh, yeah, we want to see Taz, our Australian friend. So um, she's got a very good friend, family friend of us all, who lives up Staverton near Daventry. And we're only a day or two from there. Yeah, and she's we've going got to go see Taz. And she's going to put a weekend, which is a few days. So we're going to pot around, do a bit of shopping, go up the Leicester Arm, as you've said, through Watford Locks, up to Crick. Have a look around there. And, have a look uh, round there at the boat show. I know, but have a nice look when it's not a boat show. And basically enjoy ourselves. So that'll be quite different, wouldn't it? Yeah. So heart of a shore is I reckon what? Twenty minutes if that? Probably. We even open yet. Anyway, we'll get off up there and um hopefully have a really nice day. Sun's out, it's bright. What could go wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Come on, man. No, but a shout out to Wayne. I just want you to know it's gone. Oh, yeah. The label has gone. A comment on one of my videos, our videos, was that label on there hanging off your hat is driving me insane. Can you please cut it off? So it's gone. So apologies. Do keep the comments coming, by the way. I read <laughs> They're them all. very funny. We have a laugh, don't we? Read them yep. all. And uh, some of them are very, very good. And it's encouraging to us. Anyway, we've rattled on now too long. We haven't. <laughs> See you, folks. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Really warm. Sun's out. Bright blue sky. Unprecedented English weather for all. It's been three or four weeks now, hasn't it? Can't remember what rain is. As much as we need it. The so bridge 23. I'm not sure which one we stop at for the Shires. 18. 18. So Bridge 18 is where the Shires is. I reckon about 20 minutes to get there. See, so Linda not being very tall. Can't always see out the front very well. You need a little step, don't you? We said that. Some people sit on the top, but there's not, with our one, it opens up nicely. There's not really a top to sit on. A lot of trads, people sit on the top. So I sometimes have to say, yeah, you've got about 10 foot my way. So you heard the train there, which is just to the left. The A5 and the M1 are just to the right. And this is Watford Gap. Watford Gap, most people think, means Watford. When people say the north of England starts at Watford, they often think of the big city. Is it a town or a city? Down in uh, Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire, in West Hearts. But actually, Watford is a little tiny village round about here with hills both sides, not much hills, just a bit of hills. Canal goes straight through the middle because it's obviously the most convenient. The road, the A5, which is a historical road originally built by the Romans, Watling Street. That goes straight through this bit right next to the canal. And when they built the railway line, guess what folks? They built it through the little narrow bit between the hills. So you've got the railway line, the A5, the main road through there, and the canal all next to each other. And then, of course, in the 1950s and 60s, 70s, they built motorways network. And where did the motorway go? Straight through Watford Gap. So here we are, it's a lovely idyllic mooring. Uh, well, sort of. What a racket. Now the engine's not on, you can probably hear that. And guess what's here? And here is the train line. And the A5's just the other way. So within, what, 
quarter of a mile, the old main Roman road, big trunk road now, M1, trains, busy place. Welcome to Watford Gap. And there's the train. Five minute walk from where we've moored, Bridge 18. And uh, there's all the shopping place up there. So this is the heart of the Shires. Um, some just lovely little gift shops, knickknacks, interesting stuff, some antiques. The best cook shop I've ever been in. For everything with cooking utensils you can ever think of, pots and pans. That's on that big building up there. Um, yep, yeah, little shops there. And here's in the sun a restaurant behind me. Probably go there for a coffee. Yeah, very, very nice. We're approaching Wilton Locks. The six. Well, seven, I think. Six, then um, a pub. Seven includes the new inn. Seven includes the new inn. So the six, the shop Lindsay wants to go to, a little uh, craft shop for canal park, bits and bobs, followed by a new inn pub we might stop for lunch. Uh, one lock, and then we're off to the Leicester branch, Leicester Arm, up towards Crick. Very deep lock. Tell from the size of the sill opposite. So here at lock 13. First of a Witton flight, Wilton flight. Here's a little memory of Forget Me Not. Part of a Barlow boat. Thanks, Linda. So you open this apparently. Here it's in fun memory of Mr. Han Henry Grantham, lock keeper here. Oh, how nice. We left that lock open because that boat was coming down and he's returned the favour here as you can see. It's another tall lock, look at the size of a sill on that. That's two done and this one unfortunately is against us. Well I've been lucky with two, straight into the last two. But uh, you can see the water pouring through the gates. So clearly it's full and we want it empty. This is another huge lock. These really have got some height on them. Six or seven big, big locks. We're obviously going up quite a hill. Because of the way the flow goes under the boat, it's quite weird. I mean, look at the surge there. First of all, it knocks you backwards, but then as the water surges to the back, you almost have a slope in the water surface and you go forwards. Now that's just the sluices at the bottom, you do not open the gate paddles until it's much more full. Otherwise you get a tidal wave bursting out the um, gates, which can fill your boat with water. All up the bow and over cracked cover and not a good plan. And as Linda's just shouted, good news look, there's a boat ahead. They've undone their gates and we'll undo these lock gates. So it's Jules Fuels, the fuel boat. I'm watching. Hiya! So Jules go up and down the cut, delivering fuel, diesel, gas, pet, um, coal, you name it. So the fourth lock, and that's going to be the third out of four, where we've just driven straight in with the gates open. So bridge 11, I think it's two locks till lunch. Nice ring to that. So here's the next lock. Number five. Boat's just come out. So whoever gates is shut, he, he couldn't see us around the bend. Um, we won't have to empty it hopefully. There shouldn't be any water in it or there shouldn't be much. So that'd be nice. So our fifth one. One gate open. 
Ben's getting worn out. These are hard work. I've been up and helped on some. And uh, God, the uh, windlassing job's hard. Some of the things are really stiff. The paddle's really stiff on some. But hey, but another very high lock. I must look up afterwards what this flight gains in height. It's certainly a lot. It must be 60 foot or so. Right, we're in. So that's that one done. Locks, canals, trains. If you're a geek into canals and trains, you're in heaven. Hey! I'm in heaven. So we're in lot six. We're both absolutely shattered. That doesn't work, it's for heat. And uh, we're stopping at that cottage up there. It's a lovely little shop. It just sells trinkets and stuff. Uh, we'll have a look around there. We bought a couple of things from there last time we came this way. So here's the shop that Linda so wanted to go to and it's lovely. Proper canal wear everywhere. Loads and loads of stuff. Look at all this. Traditional wharf painted water jugs, pails. Absolutely smashing. Little stool. You know where our two jugs are? That's nice. That's nice. And Linda's in her element and buying. Yeah, that is nice. I like that one. Oh, look at all this stuff. I had one of them captain hats when I first came down here a few years back. Still got it somewhere. Oh, look at all the brass work. So there's the uh, coal scuttle and bucket. There's so much stuff here. Horse oh. brasses. I think they're a horse. Them. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. So bridge 11, that's the A5. My God, driven over that with motorbikes and cars so many times. So this is the seventh lock of a Wilton flight. Last one, so to speak. Here we were planning to drop off at the new inn pub for lunch. And it's closed Mondays. So here we are, we're at the junction. Yep. Braunston left. Leicester right. And the Leicester arm of the Grand Union right. Apparently it was a real water shortage before the Watford locks, but we're gonna go up and have a look because there is a big winding hole just before. So we're more up, have a look. We can always turn around, come back tomorrow if it's no good and go to Broadstead. Really beautiful canal so far. Loads of mooring back there, mooring's gone a bit now, but there'll be uh, a bit of a queue for the locks apparently, we'll see. Another little marina, there's a lot around here. Welton Haven. Very nice. Big bridge coming up, you can see it. I think you'll get through there. Um, very picturesque. And I'll keep saying that, but it is. So that's the Lorry Park, Watford Gap service station on the M1. Oops. As Linda said, I'll treat you tonight to dinner. We'll go to Watford Gap. I think not, Linda. Well, I'm not offering you again. <laughs> Oh well, exactly. fair enough. Now that's it. You reject my offers. This is nice where we're going down, look. So this is bridge six coming up. So here we are, having a cycle along the towpath. Moored up before the locks, waiting for them to open in the morning. And we're going to go a cycle up to Crick. Have a look round. Maybe find a pub because the new inn was closed. 
trying to fall in my cup when I'm sort of filming and cycling. Yeah, nice. Wow, I had a lovely time to have a pub in Melinda. Oh, had the best meal ever. I've had a few beers, probably too many, and um, we're cycling home a bit slower than we came. And well, I was sensible and had a plum raspberry juice. Oh, not sensible because you missed out. And uh, that's where we're off obviously tomorrow, Crick Tunnel. That'd be fun. So this is what the top lock pound looked like in the morning. As you can see, pretty dry and there ain't no boats going through like that. Join us next week, folks, to see how we got on. See ya. Bye.